Gabby, good evening. Hello, hello. Noemi, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Hi, girls. How are you? So great to see you. Welcome back. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, just yes. a little tired. I didn't want to uh, get back to uh, to the classes. I totally get you. I totally get you. But did you have a good time? Did you rest a little? No homework yeah. from university? Uh, yes, I know. I have to study for an exam that I have today. But mm -hmm. it was not like too hard to study. It was really easy. Oh, so you went back to classes today? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, but that's good. I know after vacation, we need like more days or weeks. <laughs> but I'm super glad, you know, I'm super glad to have you back and to see that um, you are safe, right? That you're good. So I'm really happy about it. Uh, Noemi, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Se uh, Kenya, hello. Girl, you have to tell us about the Wisin and Jandel concert. <laughs> Andrea, good evening. Adolfo, how you doing, guys? How was your vacation? Did you have a good vacation? Did you rest a little bit? Did you uh, wash the dishes? <laughs> I don't know. What did you do? How was your vacation? Uh, uh, do, are you feeling a little, I don't know, uh, rested or like more tired or how was that? We Hello, need man. a vacation of the vacation. You need like an, <laughs> okay, like how many more days? I would say a month. <laughs> Okay, now, but I totally get it. It is just part of the process. But guys, did you go to El Tagada? Did you do, I don't know, did you stay at home? What did you do? Yeah, in my case, good evening. Hi, good evening. For all, uh, I was a stay at home because I, 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 I work in a, in a document for... Uh -huh for to apply an opportunity in USA. For a scholarship? Uh, no, no scholarship. Or for a job? It's, uh, yeah, Aye. for a job. Interesting, yeah. okay, and, amazing. And I, and, and I spend a lot of time thinking mm -hmm. very well uh, to fill uh, so many documents. Mm -hmm. Are you completing an application letter too? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's not an application letter. That is called an interest letter. Uh, uh, yeah. You have uh, to I, write I, like a document uh, saying why yeah. you like to work there, something like that. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. It's a it's a kind of interchange. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, so the best of luck. Uh, I hope the time that you spend working on those documents, uh, are, uh, definitely is going to pay out. You know. Uh, so okay. um, I really hope you can get this opportunity. So that's yeah. really good to, to hear. Uh, Daniel, good evening, welcome. Uh, Arnoldo, great to see you, Arnoldo. How you doing? Are you at home? Are you working? Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, I'm okay, you know, I'm good. As you were saying before, uh, we need like, uh a vacation out of the vacation <laughs> no wow, but but okay, it's good yeah. we are coming back okay. uh -huh. per perfect, what about perfect. you did you rest no. yes yes relax i'm work um from august one from august work i work uh night shift but mm -hmm. relax <laughs> oh the night shift yes night shift. Oh, yes mm -hmm. good yes. that sounds really nice Sounds yes. good. So the good thing is that you mentioned before, night shift is kind of cool, kind of relaxing. Relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. okay. So that sounds yeah. really good. Imelda, good evening. Helen, good evening, guys. So good to see you back. You know, I'm super happy to see you guys. Me alegra enormemente que estén bien. Verlos de regreso. That is really good news especially because 
um, I have been checking and han habido muchos accidentes. There have been a lot of accidents, a lot of things going on. So me alegra enormemente that you're sound and safe, you know? I'm super happy to see you um, guys. So um, how do you feel for classes? <laughs> Did you take the time to, I don't know, to do something in English, to study, to review? Not really. <laughs> Nothing? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. No problem. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, no problem. You know, that sounds super good. Either way. Eh, just a, a little something, guys. Eh, hacerles el recordatorio here. Que trabajemos en la plataforma, right? Que avancemos. Gracias a quienes se tomaron el tiempito de avanzar con los ejercicios de la plataforma y que uh, sean menos los que tengamos pendientes, right? So thank you so much for that. Eh, y yeah, también a ustedes los dejo un poco más tranquilos. Eh, no tenemos aquella presión de los compañeros, right? De administración, like, Adolfo, termínela. <laughs> Gaby, me falta este ejercicio. So I think that is more eh, relaxing that way. Y trabajamos eh, también con su propio tiempo libre, right? Cuando tengamos un par de minutos libres, Terminemos con eso, trabajemos en ello y eso van a quedar mucho más libres y you know, mucho más tranquilos eh, by the end of the module. Eh, today vamos a iniciar con la unidad número 2. We are going to get started with unit 2. Eh, hablamos un poquito de marketing, you know, we talk a, a little bit about publicity, advertising, but I just have a couple of questions for you. Um, especially because on vacation, uh, a lot of people now take pictures, uh, videos, right? And if you go to a park, so we normally uh, make videos. If you go to a shopping mall, so you normally make videos. Are you the kind of person who take pictures all the time? Hi, Carlos, good evening. Thank you for joining. Angelica, great to see Hi, you. Judy. Good Hello, evening, good evening. Judy, 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 good evening. How you doing? Uh, so guys, um, talking about this vacation, so quick question. Uh, can I sound like photo crazy or video crazy lovers, you know? Uh, so you take pictures and videos wherever you go. Are you like that? No. In my case, not too much. Too much. Not too much. Because Nobody. Only, only, only take a picture where I see a sunset. It's oh, very nice here. I take a picture. Okay, so sunsets, nice. All right. And what about the rest of you guys? So you don't normally take okay. pictures? Uh huh. In my case, I'm not crazy about it. I prefer enjoy the moment because I think when you are focusing take a picture or make a, a video, you mm -hmm. can lose the moment. Oh, that's very important. Okay. Wow, guys, I'm super surprised because it's like uh, the trend, right? Everybody takes pictures, but I'm super glad to hear that. Okay. So you prefer to appreciate the moment. So guys, normalmente, normally, what kind of pictures do you take? Si van a tomar una foto, if you take a picture, what kind of, I don't know, product, eh, stuff uh, do you take of? So I love nature. So maybe I would take a picture of a mountain. Nature, of a beach. nature at first. Nature, okay. Yeah, do, animals. do you like cats? Uh -huh. Do you take pictures of cats, dogs, food? <laughs> what do you take okay. pictures? Uh -huh. Yeah, dogs, okay. butterfly, butterflies. Oh, butterflies, food, and, okay. And any place I love, uh, yeah. Or and babies, any place. right? So if you have uh, babies, sometimes people take a lot of pictures of their babies. Uh, their family. So I don't know, guys. Yeah. What do you take pictures of? Noemi, what do you take pictures of? Hi, Christian. Good evening. Great to see you. Rafa, hey there. Good evening. Hello, uh, guys, I'm super happy to see you back. Yes, Noemi, <laughs> tell me. Okay. Um, really, I don't like the pictures, but my, oh my, my daughter, she uh -huh. likes to uh, take pictures uh, for all things uh, for her 
for her brothers or for the cars, all all ah, things. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So oh, really, just, I don't like it. You don't like taking pictures? Oh, no, okay. Really <laughs> okay, okay. So guys, we are talking about like taking pictures or taking videos. And if you are crazy about it, um, or if I don't know, you go somewhere. So you normally take your phone out and you take a picture. Christian, do you like taking pictures or videos? Uh, you, yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, nice. I like I like so much. Okay. What Bye. kind of what kind of pictures or videos do you normally take? Um, landscape. Landscapes, uh, beach or mountain. What do you prefer? Um. Mountains. Okay, so mountains. Nice. Okay. I found one person. Mountains <laughs> Come on, and guys. volcanoes. Oh, mount mountains and volcanoes. Do you normally go hiking? Do you like to go uh, and climb some volcanoes? Uh, no much, really. Oh, okay. So, desde abajito? <laughs> like from, from the bottom of the volcano? I I only clean uh, Santana Volcanoes. Oh, okay. That is a very nice choice. I love volcanoes. Uh, so I recommend you going to Ilamatepec Volcano or Santana's Volcano in la madrugada, a dawn. That's so beautiful. So ah, you to really, see the, to see the, the, sunrise. the sunrise. Yes, you really need to go there. Um, so that that's I guess my my biggest recommendation. Um, yeah. Let me see, Angelica. I don't know why Angelica, but I got the feeling that you like taking pictures too because of your career, because of what you do. Tell us, please. Yes, I have a lot of, a lot of pictures about everything. <laughs> I I thought so. What kind of pictures? Architecture. Uh, Architecture, yes, uh, landscape as well. Mm. Uh, dogs for the street, I like to <laughs> take pictures for them because my sister likes so much uh, uh, animals and dogs mm. particularly. So I try to take a picture when I have a travel or uh, in my job, I have to uh, a little break and I have mm -hmm. to go to lunch. Sometimes I take the picture for animals or, or uh, buildings are interesting. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. nice, nice. Sounds actually quite good. Yes, I, I thought so because I remember, oh, she's an architect. She must <laughs> like pictures and videos. Okay, okay, more, guys, so yeah. On video, I don't like memory very much take videos. Oh, you know. prefer pictures? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, guys, now that we're talking about this part of pictures, videos, I have some questions for you. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, and uh, get into this thing so we can start talking. And today, actually, we're going to talk about some people who really like to make videos, take pictures, and they are the so-called influencers. Um, guys, do you recognize an influencer here or any Salvadorian? Uh, are you into these? Are you into like, uh, I, I don't know if, if I should call them famous. Um, is, what are your thoughts? Do you know how you ever met any uh, influencer? Um, I am too shy for this. <laughs> Do you like to? No. Oh, I, you are too I, shy. Yeah. To become an influencer. Oh, okay. But have you ever met like one of these people who make videos or post podcast or something like that? Um, guys, I have an expression que es so called, right? Like como los, los llamados, right? Um, so the so-called influencer, that is the expression that we normally use for that. Como los llamados, los que se denominan, that is the one. Uh, so, yeah. um, okay, first, uh, who do you recognize from the pictures, guys? Who do, re do you recognize from the chart? Um, uh, Kim Kardashian, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. 
Okay. The Rock. Uh, okay. Selena Gomez. Oh, oh, you know all of them. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, Ariana, Adriana Grande. Ariana, okay. What about this one? This is another Kardashian, right? Guys, do you have any idea? Do you know who she is? I don't know her. You don't know her? Okay. No. Guys, uh, anybody, do you recognize this girl? She's one of the small girls um, in Kardashian. Yeah, right. I'm like, sure is, is Kaylee Jenner? No. I no. I was not sure, but I thought so. I thought that is no. uh, Jenner. No, she isn't. Who is she? I don't know. I was trying to, to look for them, but I am not 100% sure, but I would say this is, as Carlos said, one of the youngest Kardashian. Have you ever seen the TV programs? Have you ever seen like, uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. Um, what was the other? They have a couple of products or like TV programs, I think, celebrity shows. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, do you like watching them? No. <laughs> not really. Not no. really. Okay, guys, but what about the Salvadorian influencers? Who do you know from, from El Salvador? Uh, Fernando. Oh, okay. Fernando Flo, he's into video games, right? Yes. Okay, so Fernando um, Flo. Anybody else? I don't know, really. <laughs> no. no. Hi, Dolmi. Good evening. Okay. Do you recognize guys? There are a lot of influencers here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you have Fernand. That is, I think, is the I most famous. Has Boon. Has Boon. Oh yeah. Ah, Nicole. You're right. Okay, Nicole. Anybody else? Um, there is this boy. Uh, somebody call it Figueroa. Isn't it Nicole Figueroa? Yeah, okay. It is I same. am not sure, but it's women. Nicole Figueroa. Uh -huh, it's a girl. Yeah. There is a boy who has some videos uh, into tourism. Uh, so he shows uh, some videos. I don't know. You have heard about. I'm not. I'm not advertising the person. By the way, I'm not being paid. <laughs> but uh, there is this guy that is called Tio Frank. And he has some mm -hmm. like touristic videos. I don't know if you have seen them. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah. And, and let me see. Well, and I like the Mexican one. I like. Luisito um, Comunica. Yes, I really love Luisito Comunica's <laughs> videos. And the, um, there is an American man that have food reviews. Um, so he eats different foods around the world. I don't remember his name because I have never heard his name, but we will talk about that. So guys, here uh, we have, yes? Miss? Andre? I it, like it, it's Alba, is Salvadorian? No, uh, that guy is from USA. Uh, Andrea, I'm sorry, you said? I like Super Holly. Super Holly, Super Holly. Uh, she's an English teacher. Yes. She's a super Holly, let me look I like to. Super? Holly. Holly. Let me check it out. Super. She Holly. make videos about English. Ah, okay. Uh, she teach English. Super Holly. Ah, yes, I know who the girl is. Uh, it's the girl like with a straight hair, right? No, I don't think you will see that. Um, a, a girl with glasses and a straight hair. A blonde um, girl. Yeah. Um, I she I think she didn't. She did don't use glasses. Miss Holly, super Holly. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. There are some very some videos where she doesn't wear glasses. Okay, super Holly. Oh, I didn't know she existed. Cool. Okay, so super Holly. Anybody else? 
I'm going to be an influencer. <laughs> I'm going to make my own channel. So guys, here we have a couple of questions, you know, in regards to that. Let's see what you think. It says, uh, well, the first, have you ever wanted to become a blogger or an influencer? Remember, there are a lot of different topics, um, not just traveling. So you can become a blogger or you can become an influencer in your own area. If you are into photography, if you are into business, so you can, you know, um, make kind of your own channel, become a YouTuber and uh, in your in your area. So have you ever thought about it? Uh, have you ever wanted to be a YouTuber or an Instagrammer? Now kids, they don't want to be doctors. They don't want to be engineers. They want to be YouTubers. Can you believe that? <laughs> so um, what do you think about it, guys? Have you ever met an influencer? And have you ever been a, seen a blogger or a YouTuber doing weird stuff to get the right photo or a video? Maybe not seen because in El Salvador, there are not too many, but probably heard. Have you ever heard any story of people doing dangerous things uh, so they can get the right video or I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? So guys, we are going to um, share our ideas about influencers, YouTubers, all of that. Um, I'm going to send you to the groups for a couple of minutes so we can remember how to use your English, how to speak English after one week of pause. <laughs> okay, and uh, give me just a moment. And guys, I'm going to send you there. We have five minutes. Uh, you can take a picture or just discuss, right? What do you think about influencers? And if you wanted to become um, an influencer, a blogger, etc. Guys, we have five minutes. Let's go. Just your English guys participate, please. Go, 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 go.
Thank you for coming back, guys. Uh, so we were talking a little bit about like influencers, bloggers, and all those uh, things. So at the end, guys, nobody wants to be an Instagrammer. Nobody wants to be a YouTuber, right? Or encontraron alguien que sí le nace? Did you find anybody who has um, a soul, you know, uh, to become a YouTuber? No. Maybe the deschavetados. Deschavetados. Yes, maybe. What is that? Uh, is Salvadorian YouTubers that they they do videos about whatever crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh. but, but I like some videos about it because they, for example, they, they, uh, how do you say, pedir? Ask. Ask, uh, write for go to San Miguel, for example. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, or they, they taste the, the choripan uh, or whatever. Crazy, really. Ah, okay. Yes. Wow, I didn't know. I'm going to look for the chavetados. Okay. Chavetados. Yes. That word that you mentioned is really interesting. Uh, when you ask, when you are in the street, just asking for a ride to take it to another place, we call them hitchhikers, right? So there is this special word. I don't know how to translate that to Spanish, to be honest, but hitchhikers son las que piden right. Yeah, so dangerous, I have to say. But yeah, that is called hitchhiking. Oh, well, hitchhikers, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Good to hear that. Well, guys, um, so then, but from our classmates, no, right? De los compañeros, nobody. Christian, Rafa, hey Rafa, you can you have the opportunity to make a channel, right? Like a technological channel. Um, just uh, in, in my case, um, the famous, um, I don't know, no. Um, when when I need information uh, directly on um, the web. Mm -hmm. But no influencers. Okay. Not an influencer. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Got I it. Am, I am too shy to do. You are too shy to become an influencer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, if you had the opportunity to create a YouTube channel, what topic would you select? Computers. Okay, computers. Technology. Technology. Uh -huh. Computers, technology, technology, Rafa Got too. It. And the rest? Gadgets. Agriculture. Agriculture, okay. Farming animals. Farming animals. Okay. Yeah. And the rest? Yeah, maybe art. There you go. Art. Okay. Art. Oh, different topics here. Nice. And the rest, guys? Then we a, a channel of lost way or about the motivation. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. So motivation. Love yourself and oh. all, uh, all about that. But the like camera it. don't love me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> love yourself, but the say, camera doesn't love no soy moto, No soy fotogénica. <laughs> oh, but you it doesn't proud. matter. The channel is about loving yourself, right? As you are. <laughs> the first yes. step. Uh -huh. I love it. I really love it, guys. And the rest, yes, maybe in I Spotify didn't... that you you make only uh -huh. listen. Oh. ¿Cómo se llaman esos? Podcast. Podcast, yes. So you'll make a podcast, okay? Daniel, what about you guys? Oh, Carlos, Gabby, Judy, um, Andrea. Iris, would you do it on a sports? Yes, I would like health and fitness. Oh, super <laughs> cool. Like, like what kind? Like extreme sport, like losing weight, like Zumba Zamba, like what kind? And uh, Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zumba. workout. 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 Yes. Oh, nice. You can do it, miss. 
That sounds really nice. Okay. Gabby, would you do it on dentistry? Oh, me? Yes. Uh, no, I'm not really good at, at, at all those things. I'm not, I cannot do makeup and also I cannot do uh, like uh, skincare, dancing. I'm not really good at those. At uh, no, 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 but what about dentistry? So, oh yeah, dentistry. Uh, that's what I told my my classmates because uh, probably if someday I want to be a YouTuber. Probably my channel will be about dentistry, about exactly. emergencies or uh, dental care, dental hygiene, dental care. Uh, exactly, because everybody has like different I don't know skills, right? Abilities. Margarita, what would you like to have a channel of or a channel for? I love plants, so I would like to have a channel of how to take care of your plants and flowers, you know. So I think I need some, some help from Adolfo here. <laughs> Margarita, what is the topic that you like? Yes. Think about it, girls. Be answering you. Think about it. No problem. Daniel, what about you? Noemi, what about you? Okay, teacher. In my case, I have a, a hobby. Mm -hmm. I, I am collect for about scouting in El Salvador, about the voice scou scouts. Oh, yes, nice. I, 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 I collect piece of the history of the of the scouting in El Salvador. I, I, I like the history. I like the history and I collect, I collect the uh, photos, I collect documents, I collect the uh, pouches and, and uniforms and all, wow. all, all, all is about, about the history of the is scouting. Is that a hobby of yours? Yes, yes, it's, it's my hobby. Oh. In, 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 in fact, I have a I have a fan page in Facebook. What is the name of your fan page? It's Daniel Antonio Luna, Coleccionista Scout. Coleccionista Scout. Yes, yes. Guys, let's yeah. follow Daniel. <laughs> oh, really cool. I'm yes. going to I'm going to follow you after classes. I mean, <laughs> that is amazing because everybody has different interests. And I'm super glad we have here like art and yeah. uh, computers and gadgets and agriculture. Noemi, what about you? Carlos, if you had a YouTube channel, what would it be about? Tell me, Jess, tell me, go ahead. In my case, In my I case, love cars. I haven't heard about cars. So cars, In but my... what? Like how to repair cars? I know some like history of about cars. cars. Okay, nice. That is super interesting. So we have cars now. We just need motorcycles. <laughs> tell me, tell us. Motorcycles too. Oh, okay, cool. Tell me, tell me, are you there? Uh, in my case, I like fashion influencers, especially hair style. Her, her, like her yes, style. Yes. I like oh. trying to do them for myself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that? Do you cut your own hair? Yes. No. Do you it's normally cut your own hair? Normia. I need to see that, Delmi. <laughs> I need to see the video. <laughs> wow. But that is interesting. So fashion and hairstyle. Yes. Oh, I like it. I re makeup? What about makeup? No, no. Only hair state. Okay, very interesting. So it, this is amazing. We have different topics here. No, me, tell us. Margarita, if you're ready, tell us too. I think uh, in my case, I... I won't have a, a specific topic, maybe different topic about the, I don't know, maybe about the reality of the society. Society, society. society. 
Yes. Uh, or maybe oh. um, different topics. Like a political, like a sort of political no. Uh, no, really. channel? Political, no. No, political, no. I think uh, a lot of people uh, say uh, crazy things about it. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't share some, some ideas. Um, I am, I don't like talk with, with a lot of people about politics, only with uh, close people. Because in my case, I am, I don't know how to say, um, so reservada about it and I respect another people. Conservative. I don't like this. Yes, uh, I don't like to speak about. Okay, maybe, so maybe like historical, like history, history maybe. Okay, um, so history. Religion is a topic, uh, a dangerous topic, really. Mm -hmm. to, it is. <laughs> yes. Politics <laughs> and uh, maybe, religious. Yes. Um, so religion, like uh, religion yes. and, and politics, and what, what is the other? There is another. I think that they Politica are very complicated. And soccer, right? And soccer, uh huh. It's kind of dangerous. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, yes. but history, I guess, sounds good, and um, and a lot of people can know about the the country, the society, evolution, and everything through through yes. you. That would be nice. Um, Margarita, did you select your topic? Are you ready? So what would be the topic for your YouTube channel? No entiendo, teacher. Yes, see, so if you created, or if you have, for example, your sister has a channel for cooking, right? Um, so if you created your own channel, no es que lo vaya a crear, if you created, si lo llegara a crear algún día, someday, so what topic would it be? Sobre qué sería? What would it be about? What are you good at? So qué le gusta? What is your passion? What's your hobby? Um... Cooking? Uh, acrylic, no sé cómo oh, acrylic nails. Acrylic nails. Nails. Can acrylic. you can you put acrylic nails? Can you like place them? Si las puedo poner? Yes. Oh, very nice. Can you do designs? Yes, teacher. Oh, super cool. Wow, guys, guys, crea sus canales. <laughs> Create your own channels, please. They sound amazing. Okay. They sound really I, cool. And we can learn a lot. I think I'm missing a couple I, I of really, other I guys. Am, uh -huh. Tell us in my case, I love nature, but specifically the ants. Ants. Yeah, ants. Oh. I have oh, some. Oh, you got a beautiful ant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have what is that? Any... Is, is that a bullet ant? Uh, yeah, because because I studied uh, entomologists. Entomologists. And entomologists um, are different kind of insects. Oh. And okay. I have and I have a book. I have a. Uh, a gift, uh, so many things oh. about about ants or about insects, but usually I I treat that every day. Mm -hmm. I post I post some different things in my in my Facebook, for example. And but I am thinking uh, I have a plan uh, to be a. A specific channels oh. uh, about the the um, um, different animals. And, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, in a small agriculture in in on city. Ah, but but this kind yeah. of agriculture uh, yeah, that is made on I, water. I, I don't remember. Yeah, uh, no, not hydroponic. That way, not that hydroponic. One. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah. but like like you have your garden your super small garden and you yeah. can make agriculture from it yeah i don't know what the name is oh but that sounds good sounds like a really cool idea do it guys it, it, and be urban, part of you the urban agriculture Urban. Urban, urban agriculture. Ah, urban. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Urban agriculture. Oh, very nice. Sounds mm. super, super cool. Guys, you have very cool ideas. I'm super glad to hear about them. Guys, let's continue with a little bit of marketing, you know. Uh, and then here, nos van a dar el plan como lo van a lanzar, but <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, there are a couple of words that are necessary to know whenever we are talking about like these you know youtube channels um what getting to to know you uh whenever you're like in the process of becoming famous and the marketing process and all of that so we have a couple of words that i wanted to present um over to you i know that some of them are not completely new so i don't think it's going to be that hard uh, for example let me know if it is too small please because i'm not sure if the lettering is super, super small. For example, we have the word brand, right? Uh, we have consumer, we have distribution, we have end user. So if you don't have a company, we are the end users, right? Um, we have image, we have label, we also have market research, and we have packaging. So out of these words, is there any that um, that you don't recognize? Is there any that is new for you? So packaging, market research, we have label, yeah. we have image, we have end user, distribution, we have consumer, consumer. and we have brand. brand. Is there any of these words that you don't recognize that is new for you? Um, end user end user okay. end user okay let's take a look here it says is the person or the consumer who is the final and the real user um sometimes uh, when you buy something when you buy a product maybe you go and buy some furniture a bed etc they ask you oh i quiero nota de consumidor final right do you need a receipt? Do you need a ticket? So that is because you are the end user. Take a look at the example. If end users aren't happy with the quality of price, they won't recommend it. In other words, we are the end users, right? We are the person or we are the people um, that use the product at the end. So that is the, the end user or consumidor final. Um, is there any other word that you don't okay. recognize? Are we good with label? Are we good with packaging? Yes. Sure. Branding. Label. Mm, I'm sorry. I just said label. Label. And mm -hmm. Label. Uh, marker. Market receipts. Oh, okay. Let me go with label. Here we have label is a small piece of paper on a particular uh, product given information. Um, for example, I have here iced. Uh, I don't. This is not publicity, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have here ice uh, breakers. Breakers. I don't know how to pronounce breakers. Oh, it says breakers. Uh, breakers. So yeah. I have this one, it's I have some candy. candy. Exactly. Yeah. What is the label? Oh, the label is at the back. Nutrition the label, facts. Mm -hmm. It says For example, here, yeah. it's a small piece of paper, closed, given information. So here consumption. you have the ingredients, here you have the country. So this is the label. When we have clothes, for example, your blouse, your pair of jeans, uh, they have a label at the back, right? Uh, let me see, I'm trying to get a piece of clothing here, but um, I don't know if there is a label on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I have this like piece of something, you know, and it says, uh, and the label is this, um, I don't, because of the filter, I don't think you'll see that, 
but it says like the size, the country, extra information. So that is the label. Mm -hmm. And Rafa mentioned the market research. This is for people who work in marketing pretty much, publicity and all of that, is the study of necessities and preferences. So probably, guys, have you ever participated in a market research? Alguien ha completado encuestas de investigaciones. Yes. So like research yeah. on market yeah. preferences, yes. Sometimes, sometimes there are some companies that send you like a, like a survey, like a questionnaire. Uh, what play, which places do you normally visit? What are your favorite flavors? How much do you spend? How many people work in your uh, how many people work in your house or how many people live in your house? So that is the market research, and yeah. then and they decide what is the product that is more appropriate or that is going to be sold faster. Yeah. So research is like investigation or in an investigation of the necessity of the market. So that is the one. Okay, guys. So if no more questions uh, or any other question. No. no. Okay, let me know. So we are going to do the next one. We are not going to do a market research, but we are going to get creative right now. So in marketing, we have three important things. One is the name of your product. So you have Coca-Cola, you have sneakers, you have, give me more brands, guys. Um, or, or names of products, you have Taki. I love Takis, by the way. <laughs> so you have Takis, for example. You have Frijoles La Chula. Um, no, no, you no, have no. Rexona, No Te Abandona. So Diana, here we have, yes? Diana, 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 Diana Todo el Mundo, right? Yes, Diana yeah. Todo el Mundo. Uh, give me the slogan of the others. Nike, just do it. What else? Just do it. <laughs> uh, keep walking, Johnny Walker. <laughs> really? <laughs> Johnny Walker, keep walking. Yeah. I would say like Johnny Walker, sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? Another one? Uh, McDonald's, I love it. Oh, McDonald's, I love it. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, nice. <laughs> Any other? Lido. Lido. Um, no te olvido. Yo de Lido no me olvido. <laughs> Yo de Lido no me olvido. That's right. That's right. But you know, they are super catchy that we normally get them, right? So we have the word catchy. Catchy is like pegajoso, que se nos pega. We don't forget them. So you have, for example, I don't remember Bocadelis, but I remember Diana Todo el Mundo. Yeah. Uh, or I remember Coca-Cola. Well, Coca-Cola is... Do you remember Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola Coca changed the slogan. Uh, it's about yes. the... It's about they the ha a, happiness. They ha happiness. They, they have, they, uh, every, every year they, they change. They change. The slogan. Oh. Yes, because la chispa de la vida. Oh. Uh, it's another, another, another slogan. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, every, uh, every year. Mm -hmm. Good, good. But, but it's all right. So normally we have like a product or a brand, right? Also, they have like a slogan. A slogan is that a super, super, super small expression, a small a word probably, two words, but are catchy, right? Algo que sea bien atractivo, something super Rexona catchy. Rexona no te abandona. Rexona no te abandona. <laughs> Wait, there is another one. Um, yes, yes. Axe, Axe. Axe, Axe, Axe. Ah, no, but, Axe, yes. the, the other know. Axe. But I don't remember the slogan. But they normally oh. have, right? Uh, also cars, Toyota. Uh, so they have like a lot of slogans. Uh, I just remember Nike. That is just do it. That's the one I remember the most. And uh, here we have also the benefits. So guys, what we will do is this. Um, here we have six different products. Okay. We are going to make six different groups. And you are going to tell us, number one, the name of your product. Remember, the name has to be small, short, 
sure. slogan, uh, one expression, one sentence that is super catchy, right? Something that you will not forget. And the, and the benefits, of course, you have to tell us about the product. What do you think um, this product is the best? Here we have like a sort of libel. This yeah. is a bed, but like, a, I don't know, a super crazy bed. Here we have um, like a sort of sofa, chair for the TV, for the computer, I'm not sure. Boots, but look at the boots. <laughs> uh, we have a pair of sandals with something at the bottom. And for clothing, quien quería crear el canal de YouTube <laughs> about clothing, I think that was Delmi. We have this beautiful, guys, no sé qué es. I don't know what that is. A dress? A uh, poncho? Uh, I don't a know. A sweater. A custom. A sweater, a custom, but you gotta tell us, guys. So give me just a moment. We are going to make groups here and we are going to present your products. So we're gonna present the three things right there. Uh, Adolfo Carlos, uh, guys, you are going to go with product G. Delmi, Iris, mm -hmm. and Gabby, uh, product H, like in order, uh, G, H, and then Daniel, Imelda, Noemi, product I. Andrea, Christian, and Angelica, product J. Kenya and Margarita, product L. And Arnoldo, Rafa, um, Rafa, no estoy segura si Arnoldo solo está como listener. Uh, si no, let me know. Voy a, know. Voy a... Arnoldo, ¿está por acá? Are you here? Si no, déjeme cambiarlo. Uh, so, Noemi, trabajemos con Rafa, please. And uh, number six, uh, that is product M. Guys, we have 10 minutes, okay, to think about it, and then you come and present it. So enjoy it. Go ahead, guys. Name, slogan, benefits. That's it. But you'll present it, right? You will present your product. Let's go, guys. Go to your groups, please. Uh, Rafa, Christian, uh, let me know if you need some help. Uh, Kenya, let me know if you need some help.
Thank you for coming back, guys. This has been super amazing. You're super creative. And I think everybody has like really different ideas on how to use the product. So because of the time, we're going to continue tomorrow. I just got to listen to the first group that is uh, um, about the, the, the light bulb. But hopefully, we, like everybody can present the product tomorrow. I'm just looking at your pictures in WhatsApp and they look amazing, guys. So you're really good at taking pictures too. Sounds really, really cool. Um, guys, solamente antes de uh, dejarlos ir, before letting you go, I'm going to go over attendance here super quick and uh, give me just a moment. Creo que solo me faltó. It was amazing. I cannot recall. Give me just a moment, guys. Let me just go over attendance here super quick. And uh, I have Andrea. Present. Thank you so much. And help me with your cameras, please, guys. Hold on, my computer is super slow. También todavía no regresa de vacación, you know? So give me just a moment here. Um, you know, actually, uh, so no le utilizado. So literally, like, my computer is, is still uh, coming back from vacation, so. Okay, there we go. So I got Christian. Thank you. Thank you so much. Adolfo. Hello. Thank you. Uh, Carlos. Here. Thank you. Delmi. Present. Thank you. Helen. Imelda. Present. Thank you. Iris. Present. Thank you. Kenya. Present. Angelica. Present. Thank you, Miss Gabby. Present. Noemi. Present. Rafael. Present. Thank you, Reina. Present. Yuri. A Yuri creo que la vi temprano. Okay. Okay, guys. Amazing. So, gracias a todos por unirse el día de ahora. Me alegro enormemente verlos por acá, que estén bien. Después de esas vacaciones, espero que hayan descansado mucho. And, guys, nos vemos el día de mañana. Eh, Ceci está por acá. Me regala unos momentitos, please. Oh, perdón, Margarita. Ya le cambié nombre. Margarita, please, give me some seconds. Guys, see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. 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 Yo, teacher, in the list, uh, aquí estoy. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Fíjese que ya lo anoté. I already got you. Pero gracias. Thank okay. you. Night. Yes, I remember you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Hi, Margarita. Gracias por Ay, quedarse. Sí. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos acá para nuestra sesión de one on one. Uh, Margarita, vamos a practicar un poquito. We're going to practice a little bit, pero antes le quiero agradecer porque la veo acá, you know, uh, con todas las, las energías, con todas las ganas eh, de salir adelante. Siempre se me está conectando. And uh, vamos a meterle ahora turbo, you know, porque necesito que le agarremos ritmo, que le agarremos uh, como el, el, el ritmo, right, de, de sí. esto. So tell me, um, ahorita, ¿qué considera que le está costando más? Eh, ¿Organizar sus ideas uh, o el parte de vocabulario? Creo que las dos cosas, Tiche. Las dos cosas. Sí. Ok. ¿Le cuesta más escuchar o em empezar a hablar? Eh, quizás como que hablar me cuesta bastante. Y, y escuchar de, 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 de las explicaciones, de lo que los compañeros comentan. ¿Sí lo vamos comprendiendo? Sí, 
Sí, pero a veces los temas sí me, me parecen bastante complicados, pero lo voy entendiendo un poquito. Vaya, no, no hay problema, no se preocupe. Remember that algunos temas son como más técnicos, right, para personas específicamente de esa área, pero la idea es que usted pueda aportar su opinión, right, a una idea pequeña y sobre todo que lo vaya comprendiendo. Si usted lo comprende, pues ya tenemos el 50% ganado. Eh, ok, vamos entonces a empezar a hacer lo siguiente. Necesito que, que organicemos al menos cinco minutitos diarios, cree que puede, cinco minutos diarios para una actividad de, de, de speaking, de habla. Ok. Vale, perfecto. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Le voy a ir dando temas, ok, y necesito que me grabe un minuto todos los días. En la semana tenemos de lunes a viernes, eh, entonces no le voy a pedir más de un minuto. Claro, para ese minuto tal vez le tome un poquito más organizar sus ideas, buscar las palabras, buscar el vocabulario, revisar gramáticas. No me lo va a enviar escrito, sino que me va a enviar un audio. ¿Ok? okay. Le voy a escribir entonces los temas acá para que usted me los vaya enviando. So, como esta semana comenzamos, digamos que mañana comenzamos martes, vamos a dejarle entonces cuatro temas. So, solo le voy a pedir que si me se me olvide escribirle, usted siempre envíemelo. Yo lo escucho al final del día y le doy eh, como okay. retroalimentación, ¿verdad? Si hay algo que tenemos que ir practicando más o si lo repetimos o una palabrita, porque la idea, mis, es ayudarle. Eh, que no se me quede, sino que usted vaya avanzando al ritmo de los demás también. Claro que eh, al final cada uno encuentra como su forma de trabajar, right? Entonces estamos buscando algo que a usted le sea más fácil eh, y acoplarnos también, right? A lo que usted necesita. Vamos a comenzar con eh, opiniones, porque creo que eso es lo que le cuesta un poquito, right? Como omitir sí. una opinión de algo. Entonces... First. Es que a veces no sé cómo formularla. O sea, Exacto. Vamos a comenzar. Oh, sí le voy a pedir para esta actividad que si tiene una idea, no me ponga la idea en español en Google Translator. No se me vaya a Google para una frase, para traducir lo que piensa, sino que intente armarla como usted cree. Si la, una palabra no se recuerda cómo hacerla, una palabra sí la puede buscar en Google. Encuentra cómo se dice, usted le escribe y luego para confirmar que lo que usted está queriendo decir está bien, lo puede escribir todo en Google para que le dé la idea de qué es lo que está diciendo, right? Pero no al revés, no primero español y todo en inglés y solo lo copio, porque no se trata de eso, sino que usted también vaya pensando y vaya ordenando sus ideas, little by little, ok? So, Comencemos, eh, comenzamos primero. Vamos a hablar de sus cosas eh, favoritas. Ok. So, um, le voy a dejar el primer tema que es your favorite food. Para mañana me va a mandar un audio de un minuto sobre su comida favorita. Es un minuto. Entonces no me diga, ay, la pupusa si ahí murió. <ríe> so, es como, uh, si son pupusas, ok. My favorite food is pupusas. Um, because I like the flavor, because of the material, because of everything you put in the pupusas. Y solo de eso me va a hablar. Un minuto. Escríbalo, escríbalo. Si no sabe cómo decir masa, por ejemplo, busque cómo decirlo. Si no sabe cómo decir repollo, búsquelo. But palabra por palabra, right? No primero pensarlo todo en español y luego lo meto a, al traductor, porque no, no se trata de eso. So vamos primero. Con your favorite food. Vamos el, el día 2. Esto es para martes. Eso es para tomorrow. Right? This is for tomorrow. Lo voy a poner entre paréntesis. This is going to be for tomorrow. Eh, para el siguiente tema, vamos ahora con pasados. Ok? What did you do on vacation? No sé si usted, eh, usted descansó. ¿Le dieron vacaciones? Eh, yes. De, ok, yeah. vaya. Entonces, what did you do on vacation? ¿Qué hizo? Todo en pasado, porque la pregunta es pasado. Los verbos, si quiere decir yo fui, go, el pasado es went. I went to the park. Si es yo cociné, cook, cooked. I cooked with my family. Entonces, me va a hacer una descripción de las cosas que usted hizo, right? That is going to be the one. 
Eh, so, el siguiente que vamos a hacer, next one, va a ser eh, what, vamos a ver algo más. Ok, what is your favorite TV program? Vamos a agregar un poquito de eso. sus canales de televisión favorita. Lo mismo, ninguno que vaya más de un minuto, right? What is your favorite TV program? Todos de un minutito. And vamos a agregar uno más. What is your favorite music? Vale, ahí tenemos para toda la semana. Para mañana es el número uno. Para el miércoles es el número dos. Para el jueves es el número tres. And for Friday es el número cuatro y terminamos esta semana. Again, un minuto. Si, te, si tienes que grabar 20 veces, no importa, mis, grabes 20 veces. La idea es que vayamos trabajando vocabulario, pronunciación, right? Voy a poner and, and everything. Yo, yo Dudas, mis preguntas. Tómale captura si le funciona. Tómale una fotito para que ya le quede grabada, you know, and, And super. Si tiene dudas de cómo formularla o antes de grabar, si quiere revisarlo, le puede tomar captura siempre, tomarle una foto, me lo envía y con gusto yo se lo reviso y luego lo puede grabar. Okay, Vaya, mis, cualquier cosita, let me know and remember, mis. tenemos que este módulo sacarle, pero aprovecho al máximo, ok, y para que usted esté súper lista, para que me, se le quite el miedo a hablar, a participar, y pues va a tomar tiempo generar vocabulario, no es de la noche a la mañana, pero yo sí confío en usted y sé que lo podemos lograr, I know you can do it, así que mis, please, si sí, se me olvida, eh, probemos de esta forma esta semana. Si nos funciona, si usted considera que, eh, you know, le funciona de esta forma, que el vocabulario va fluyendo un poco más, que las ideas se van organizando mejor, seguimos las próximas tres semanas que nos faltan. Oiga, y así le damos seguimiento también. Ok, teacher, gracias. Gracias a usted, Margarita, por el tiempo. Y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Descansen, mis. Gracias. Bye, bye. bye. See ya.